Good morning, dear students. Today, we'll start chemical properties of metals. Last period, we discussed about it. Just we started. So, metals' chemical property depend upon its electropositive nature. Metals lose electron and form positive ion. So, metals are electropositive in nature. So, all its characteristics properties is based on its electropositive nature. Okay. So, today we start with the chemical properties of metals. First, reaction with oxygen. Reaction with oxygen. Reaction of metals with oxygen. So, metals... React with oxygen and form metal oxide. Metals react with oxygen and form metal oxide. So we take some examples, it will be more clear to you than first potassium. Potassium is a metal. It reacts with oxygen at room temperature, no need to heat. Means it is very reactive metal. Potassium reacts with oxygen at room temperature. And what is formed? Metal oxide. Potassium oxide. K2O. Potassium oxide. Now balance it. How many oxygen atoms in the reactant side? 2. In the product side? 1. In front of the formula you will add 2. Now this 2 is for potassium as well as oxygen. Now potassium becomes 2, 2 is 4. Now add here 4. Now the equation is balanced. Second, come to sodium. Sodium also reacts with oxygen at room temperature. No need to heat. And it forms what? Metal oxide, sodium oxide. What is formula sodium oxide? Na2O. Again, how many oxygen atom here? 2. This side 1, you have to make it 2. In front of the formula you will add 2. Now this 2 is for sodium as well as oxygen. Now sodium 2 to the 4 here in reactant side 1, you will make it 4 by adding 4 in front of the formula. Okay, next. Come to magnesium. Now the reactivity goes on decreasing. The sodium and potassium, sodium and potassium reacts with oxygen at room temperature and it forms its oxide. Next, magnesium, it reacts with oxygen not at room temperature on heating. Magnesium ribbon you might have seen when you burn magnesium ribbon it burns with a dazzling light. Chamakta wa light ke saath jalta hai. And what is left? White powder. So what is that white powder? Because magnesium on heating it will react with oxygen and what is formed? Magnesium oxide. So the white powder which you obtain that is magnesium oxide. Okay. So magnesium reacts with oxygen on heating. At room temperature it will not react. And what is formed? Magnesium oxide. Again you have to balance it. How many oxygen atom? Two. This side? One. You have to make it two. In front of the formula you will add two. Now this two is for magnesium as well as oxygen. So oxygen atom becomes two. But magnesium, how many atoms here? Two. This side, one. You have to make it two. In front you will add two. Okay. Now next, come to zinc. Zinc, it reacts with oxygen on strong heating. Otherwise, it won't react with oxygen. At room temperature, it won't react. Simple, normal heating, it will not react. But on strong heating, zinc will react with oxygen. And what is for? Zinc oxide, metal oxide. So, zinc oxide, what is formula? ZNO. Again, how many oxygen atom here? Two. This side, one. In front, you will add two. Now, this two is for zinc as well as oxygen. Now zinc atom becomes 2. This side 1. You will make it 2. Okay. Next. When you come to iron. Iron it do not react with oxygen. 
on heating. A piece of iron if you take and strong heating if you do, even then it will not react with oxygen. So what to do? You will you, use your iron fillings, very small pieces, uh, uh, iron in the form of powder, very small pieces of iron, iron fillings. Okay, so iron fillings you will take and sprinkle on the flame of the burner. Then it will react with oxygen because the reactivity is going on decreasing. Okay, so iron, how it reacts with oxygen? When you sprinkle this iron filling, iron in the form of powder, okay, iron filling when you sprinkle on the flame of the burner, then iron will react with oxygen and what is formed iron oxide. Now students, you have to keep in mind a slight, the form of oxide here formed is slightly different. It is iron 2 3 oxide and formula is Fe3O4. Iron 2, 3 oxide is formed here. Not ferrous oxide or ferric oxide. This iron 2, 3 oxide is mixture of ferrous oxide and ferric oxide. Students, you know this iron has two valencies. 2 and 3. When you use 2, ferrous oxide. When you use 3, ferric oxide. So ferrous oxide, what is formula? FeO. And what is ferric oxide formula? Fe2O3. Iron valency when 2 plus 2. Here minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 cancelled. FeO. This is ferrous oxide. Now next, iron valency 3. And oxide 2. When valency is different, you will remove the charge. You will remove the charge. And cross multiply. 3 will go with oxygen, 2 will go with iron. So what is formula ferric oxide? Fe2O3, Fe2O3. So this iron 2,3 oxide, it is mixture of ferrous oxide and ferric oxide. So how many iron atom here? 1, here 2, 2 plus 1, 3, so Fe3. Then oxide 3 plus 1, 4, so O4. So, iron 2, 3 oxide. In Roman numeral, you have written here the valency of iron. Because it is a mixture of ferrous oxide and ferric oxide. Okay. So, iron 2, 3 oxide is formed. Fe3O4. Okay. So, you have to keep in mind there is a slight difference here. Iron, when reacts with oxygen, a piece of iron, it won't react on heating. What you have to do, you will sprinkle iron filling on the flame of the burner. Then it will react with oxygen and the type of oxide formed is even slightly different here. What type of oxide is formed? Iron 2,3 oxide which is mixture of ferrous oxide and ferric oxide. Okay. Now balance it. How many iron here? 3. Here how many iron atom? 1. You will make it 3. Add 3 in front, oxygen 4, this side 2, you have to make it 4, add your 2, 2 twos are 4. Okay, next, copper, still the reactivity goes on decreasing, copper reacts with oxygen, how? On prolonged strong heating, for a long time if you heat it strongly, then it will react with oxygen. And what is formed? A black substance is formed. Now what is that black substance? Copper oxide. CuO. And here copper which valency is used? 2. You will write here 2. Copper 2 oxide. Because again copper has 2 valency. 1 and 2. Okay. Now you have balanced it. How many oxygen atom? 2. This side 1. You will make it 2 by adding 2 in front. Now this 2 is for copper as well. So this side 1 you will add here 2. Now the equation is balanced. So what you have seen students here. When metals react with oxygen what is formed? Metal oxide. Okay. More reactive metals they react at room temperature. 
But as the reactivity goes on decreasing, you have to heat it, then you have to heat it strongly, then you have to heat it for a long time, then only it will react with oxygen. But the product formed is what? Metal oxide in all the cases. Okay, so here for iron there is slight difference, the type of oxide form, so you will keep in mind this. Okay, so metals react with oxygen and what is formed? Metal oxide. Okay, 